Hey guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. As always, we're going to be playing a classic arcade game. We're going to see how long we can last off one playthrough. And today, that game is Age of Heroes Silk Road 2. And this is a beat em up hack and slash game, which I know you guys all like. And uh, it's a step up because this came out in the turn of the millennium. And uh, I don't know, it's just got some more advanced graphics compared to what you're normally uh, used to in a beat em up. It's still 2D. Uh, but it almost looks like there's some motion capture in this. It's a little bit hard to explain. It's got a unique art style, uh, but it's a very, very good game. And uh, I know a lot of us sort of moved on from the side scrollers by this point, which is why a lot of you might not know about this game. And that's why I'm showing it to you now. Uh, but basically, it's an ancient game. It's, it's, it's basically played in ancient China, actually, uh, with a fantasy storyline. A little bit similar to uh, sort of a. Romance of Three Kingdoms or Dynasty Warriors story, but uh, it's a little bit more mystical. Uh, you're fighting in war-torn China, or the backstory was there was fighting in war-torn China, and these seven warriors finally uh, got their rightful countries in the land after restoring order, and there's an evil dictator that uh, took exception to that. He's stolen their souls, and uh, it's your job to restore those souls and bring order back into the country. So I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but that's a storyline. I didn't write it, uh, but what's important is this is a really fun beat em up and hack and slash game. And you can definitely see uh, how far the genre has come in its, in its 15 years of uh, experience once this game hit the shores. And uh, it's pretty good, I mean my only complaint is uh, the main character moves a little bit slow, although you can double tap uh, the D-pad and you can run around with him if you need to, so it's not all that bad. Uh, combat itself though is incredibly smooth. Uh, you've got two buttons here, you've got a jump button, you've got an attack button, and uh, this kind of plays a little bit like uh, an action RPG. I mean, if you've played a game like uh, Dungeons and Dragons Tower of Doom or Shadows Over Mystaria, you'll pretty know what's up, pretty much know what's up with this game straight away, because you've also got a button that will access your inventory of spells, and then another button which will allow you to cast those spells as you travel along. So, you've got a multitude of ways to play this game, and uh, the controls and buttons never feel overwhelming. It's pretty easy to access everything you need and play as you wish. So don't let the fact that there's four buttons uh, to control your character fool you. It's pretty smooth for the most part. Uh, but don't get me wrong though, at the same time there's a lot of challenge to be had here. Uh, just with different boss fights and enemies you can encounter. Actually doing my research, I think there's a, a total of like almost 50 different enemies in this game, which is pretty sweet. So. Uh, they've gone to uh, a lot of effort for the detail, that's for sure. And I'm, I can't remember how to pick up these items. I'm trying to pick up this freaking barbecue, finally. I want to at least get past one guy for you guys. Let's see if we can part, cast a spell and uh, cause some damage here. Here you can see, it's, it's not very well detailed, but you can see that little uh, red line under my display. That's the enemy uh, boss's health. So hopefully we can do some damage to that now. Cast another spell. Spells don't seem to do an awful lot of damage, but enough I suppose to be acceptable. At least his first boss doesn't uh, seem overwhelming, though his blocking skills are pretty good, aren't they? There we go, we've got one spell left, so we're going to see if we can cast this. Well, I like the whirlwind, that does more damage. And you can hit him on the ground too, I didn't know that, that's a nice little touch. So, uh, this pole arm that we're dealing does a pretty good amount of damage, it's not too bad. And we've got some more health here, and we're gonna go on to another level. <clears throat> and, uh, so this is one of the later beat em up games, guys. I'm curious to know if you know of any more, because it was definitely a dying genre uh, by the by the turn of the millennium. I think uh, Capcom did their last beat em up game actually in 1997, uh, 1998. I'm talking like uh, arcade wise, anything that they brought out in console doesn't really count. It's kind of a different experience altogether. I really hope they bring out another Final Fight game one day. Okay, no more tangents. We're supposed to be talking about Age of Heroes today. As you can see, the graphics are well detailed and. Uh, I don't know, it's, I kind of really like that considering this game came out in 2000, 2001, that they've kept with the 
sort of 2D art style rather than trying to overcomplicate it with uh, kind of 3D backdrops and, and all that. Because as you've seen in some fighting games, a lot of the time it doesn't work and it sort of misses its charm that way. And you continue on here. Oh, is this another boss already? This game wastes no time getting to the point, and I like that. Yes, we have been interfering. What are you going to do about it? Okay, this story's kind of going over my head. Maybe I just need some sleep. Time to lay the smack down on this mofo. Oosh. Yeah, I've got more spells equipped. What's this spell do? <clears throat> Waves his hands in the air like he just don't care. <laughs> it's like Dance Dance Revolution. What the hell? That's a pretty interesting crossover, isn't it? that help us out. I'm trying to conserve my health now. Things are getting a little bit desperate. Do I have any more spells? No. What's in this? A carrot. I'm a human being, not a horse. Why are you feeding me a carrot for? Oh, damn. Pick it up, son of a bitch. I haven't tried any running moves yet. wonder if that'll help. Yeah. It's not really inspired. Oh, that's another level done. That's all that counts. And coins. This weapon this guy wields reminds me of one used weapon from Dynasty Warriors and Romance of Three Kingdoms. That's why I picked this guy. Nothing better than a big pole arm. <clears throat> Accidentally spent my money there. A little bit concerned, we don't have a lot of health left to go through this next level. And we keep travelling across China. Some places I've heard of, some that I haven't. <clears throat> Actually, I think it might be fictional. I think I might be getting confused. They're Chinese words. I don't know if they're Chinese cities. I don't know my geography that word. I know that some... Ancient Chinese characters in movies and books had like uh, the last name Xian or whatever. I don't know if it's an actual uh, town or city, so forgive me for not knowing. Don't want to offend anybody. And, uh, the graphics in this level are pretty good too. really mention the sound but the combat sounds really really good too and uh, there's something really charming about the back uh, backing tracks as well so we're really well composed game and uh, which is pretty important because uh, Capcom and Sega always set a high standard in their backing tracks for soundtracks and that's our game done but that was Age of Heroes Silk Road 2 and uh, this is a fun game, fun beat em up, which a lot of you might not know, but I highly recommend playing. It is a lot of fun, and thanks for joining us, guys. If you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you again next time.